I am going to cover how to make a 10 millimeter wrench that you will possibly never lose. I want to show you how to loose. It's called loose casting this wrench. It will pick up all of this. This little screw area might be a little, a little iffy, and it might be a little iffy in here because you're asking that pack sand to do a lot. But I am going to cover this today. I'm going to get started right now. Maker of uh -huh. things. Good stuff, no fluff. Let's get started. You've been watching my videos, and I appreciate it. I hope you're you're getting something from it because I'm self-taught. I learned this all on my own with a little bit of help from a local foundry. They were cool enough many, many years ago to give me a quick tour, do this, do that, and I've just refined it. This is my style. If you stick with me, you're going to see that I get stuff done and I'm not messing around. There's not a lot of woo -woo and fan and flair. It is just Crafty B getting it done. We're Are you kidding me. I just now... Are you going to copy an original part? Let's say you want to make a valve cover. That's very doable, but there's shrinkage involved. Typically, when you're going to copy a part, it's going to shrink. They all shrink. Everything shrinks, and a lot of times it just doesn't matter. It's just an, a non-essential trinket or whatever. But if you have to make something that's got to fit like the original, it's going to shrink, and you're going to have to make the pattern bigger. We'll get into that. That's that's advanced. Today is what are you going to cast once you get your foundry going? Is it going to be, you know, an original part, or is it going to be something you're going to make? Now, let's cover that real quickly. I was on vacation. To make to, it is not that hard. I was on vacation for a few weeks in Arizona a few years ago, and I made this sitting at a picnic table. I went to Hobby Lobby. I bought some basswood, an exacto knife, a coping saw, some sandpaper, and super glue. And I came up with this. It took me about a week. You know, I just farting around. This is called a split pattern. It comes apart. So, split pattern, if you really are going to run with it, which I have over the years, you're going to take that split pattern. And fasten it to a board. Now this is a high production, what's called match plate. Super, I'm not going to cover it today because it's kind of advanced stuff that's coming. But you can see the artwork there. You can see the body there. Flash, flash, sand, sand, bang, 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 pull it out. It can do, I can make a lot. I've sold a lot of these. But, so the sand is ready to go. If you watched yesterday's video, you could see I talked about that. What I'm going to try to do is 30 videos, so we're ready to go here. I've got the homemade flask from a previous video. I have the wrench right here. I, for me, it's pretty obvious that I'm just going to cast it this way, but you might get in a situation where you're going to cast something up on edge, and that's fine too. You would just carve it halfway, but you have to ask yourself, is there going to be any negative angles? So you're going to pack sand if you're going to do it this way, which it won't work because it won't pack around here, it'll break away, and it won't pack in there, it'll break away. So we're gonna lay this down flat, right here, right in the middle. We'll use the talcum powder, give it a little dusting. And, we're just, and what I do, a lot of times with a pattern that I'm gonna do, if you just get crazy, first of all, I wanna apologize for this horrible mic. I'm gonna have to get a different one. It's better than the camera mic, but it's terrible and I'm sorry. I put my finger on it, and then I dump my sand so the pattern won't scoot away because it's very normal for it to just slide out of the way and then you get all of the work done and your pattern is, you know, way off, way off to one side. I got to turn this on. And I do a lot of, I didn't do a lot of this early and I'm not sure why. I think I was more apt to just make the pattern board so I could, you know, make multiples because loose casting. It definitely takes more time. But if you only want one or two, it is not worth your time to make the board. It really isn't. And on this, get getting this crisp, nice line, uh, the way better this will look when it comes out of the sand. And cast, if that makes any sense. Okay, we got a little different angle now 
of carving in. I'm going to come right down, get this just a piece of stick. And actually, I've opened it up a little bit just to try to get that in there, but sharp edge through there for the other half of the mold to match to. So it doesn't really matter that this is, this is all over and up and down because when I put the cope on, we'll put more powder, it's going to mimic everything that I've just carved out of there. You know, and if you want to... Pack it around a little bit more. You know what? That's good enough because we don't have all day. It's already taken too long. Hey, look at the sand did stay. That's pretty amazing. And on the round end, and look at the look at the detail. Taiwan. Uh, I don't know what it says else. So that mold, it will make a part. It will. Now you got to get this out of there. I think what I can do. You guys got to get this. I'm gonna chuck it back and forth. I can see it's loose. Watch this. That, what I have found works quite well instead of trying to pick it out of there. So that is a loose mold right there. Now you have to come in and carve in your gating and put your sprue and risers in, which, which I can show you that next. I kind of know that the wrench is somewhere in that area so i'm gonna i'll pop one in right here it's good practice to just have a screwdriver to eject that sand out of the the tubes Man. Yep. The furnace fired up we're gonna pour this bad boy i just went ahead and carved in my gating gating and my sprewer riser on each side and here it is on the other side. I, I, you know, I had that witness, so I've carved them on both sides to give that a really good shot. See what it looks like and there's our wrench right there guys and gals well there it is the 10 millimeter that you may never lose it didn't turn out bad you know i rushed it but it looks pretty good and this is the area that you're just gonna have to grind that is very typical they call them stickers that's just you know where it sticks and actually most of the 10 millimeter did come out loose pattern in the books wasn't that hard was it just remember there's no boundaries in your foundry this is the beginning and you will get better at it you just have to practice We'll be covering, I'll be covering more on the split patterns, making patterns, all of it. Thanks for riding along. I hope you're enjoying what I'm laying down because I'm having a blast. We'll catch you on the next one. See y'all.